Whatever, if you're paying for it, why not, right? Yeah. I love how, like, the microphone is so loud. Like, Dawn sounds like she's mic too. She doesn't have one. Oh, jeez. Are you, like, sitting too close? <laughs> Should, am, I allowed, am I supposed to be talking? <laughs> no, you can't, yeah. I don't know what the podcast is about. I don't think we... I don't think we do. <laughs> <laughs> But I've gotten like a few brushes that I've liked, and I've gotten like a highlight. Well, not I haven't used this one, but I got another highlighter that I liked. And there, I get down. Some like lip shit that I like. Now I'm just like okay. Don's then. talking about Epsi. What is Epsi? Epsi. So you pay 15 bucks a month, and then you pick your profile, like all the things oh. you like, what color your skin is, your eyes, your hair, stuff that you like, stuff that you want. Okay. I am white. Colors you like. <laughs> you just click yeah. on white, white, I am Caucasian. White. <laughs> yeah. It's um, all the by default. But it's, like, <laughs> but it's like everything. You can get like nail polishes or like hair shit or like whatever. And then they send you five products a month in a little bag. I feel like the bag is probably most like beneficial. But after enough, like how many bags do you really need? I have like five now. I use them for nothing. Yeah, exactly. There's See, that's that what I, I thought like, so too. I thought the bag was first. like the... The coolest part of it all because those are like sample sizes too so i feel yeah. like i mean for 15 dollars, it's like three bucks each but it's, i don't know yeah i don't well, know the brushes when i get the brushes i like it because you know a brush is at least 10 bucks yeah that's true although if you got it from like aliexpress which i'm pretty sure my mom did for my makeup brushes uh-huh. i was putting on makeup and it literally just fell off i was like oh so i have to super glue it back together <laughs> have you ever bought anything from aliexpress i bought Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dawn brought all her bags out. <laughs> um, I've bought a couple things. I bought, like, scarves. I bought an air filter from my car one time, but then oh, I got wow. it delivered to my work that I got fired from, so I <laughs> never got it. You never got it? <laughs> well, no, and it was only, like, a $10. But um, my mom bought so much stuff that she got banned from AliExpress. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Because she would, like, she dispute it. <laughs> she disputed everything after, didn't she? Like, if it says it'll be there within 45 days, she would, like, for the 46th day, she's like, nope, don't have it. And then they get it for free. So she, she got me an umbrella for free once, and then the real one that she ordered showed up, like, two days later. I, I'm, you know, you never taught your mom how to make new accounts? Well, I think she uses her boyfriend's account now. Oh, okay. But, like, her, <laughs> account, her account is blacklisted. And I, like, I brought it up, and she's like, no, I'm banned. <laughs> I was like, oh. You, did you get a sponge? This is... Oh, no. I, oh, sorry. I, think, I, had, I think I had that in my purse at one point. Okay. I was like, that's a... <laughs> that one's nice. The blue... Yeah, that one's nice, too. I think this one... I don't like this one. No? You can have it. Like. <laughs> okay. It's just hot pink. Like. Really? I like... I don't mind those two. I don't mind those two. You actually like that one? I I'm not a big fan of this one. This one just I like looks... these two. I like these two. I like the blue. I like blue. I don't know why. I think it looks like retro or something. We can get this shit from AliExpress for like. I know, you just gotta wait. I know, that's you just, the thing. You like, just can't wait. You can't order stuff expecting it to be there by a certain time because it's not gonna have it. It's gonna take six months. Essentially. <laughs> no, it takes like maybe like. Oh, I got my girlfriend. She had a baby. <laughs> and I got her. She got a baby on online? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, black market, you know what I mean? Um, no, I got her son a little outfit from AliExpress. Oh, nice. Like, so when she pretty much told people that she was pregnant, I was like, ooh, and I just oh. started looking, and so it didn't really matter. I was just trying to make sure that the year, like, the time of year would line up with the, like, month. So the kid turned 10, and I was able to... <laughs> it's, I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> but it was only Perfect 30 on cents. <laughs> um, but no, it came, and it was fine, and I'm pretty sure, the, I don't know what the quality is like now. I've only seen him in, I've seen him in one photo of it. Oh. So I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care. It was like three dollars. <laughs> Such a good friend. I was in her wedding party. <laughs> like, hey man, I tried. But it's just weird. It's just interesting. Ooh, I looked at. I wanted to get a floaty because floaties are so expensive. Yeah, they are. Yeah, like a big party island. Yeah, that's a great idea. And then so they're still like expensive for what it is, but they're not nearly like two hundred dollars or whatever they are here. Because like where we live, there's like tons of. I'd say there's a bunch of rivers you can go yeah, down I can, I can do that in the summer yeah exactly I like anything else fun in the summer but i can do that exactly like the river the coquitlam river because you can actually go in that water it's clean it's pretty it's cold though but yeah it's a good time and you can drink down there oh i thought you were gonna say you can drink the water no yeah <laughs> no, no do not drink that water 
I don't know what's happened in that water. <laughs> but at least it's flowing, so it's not gross. It's not That's like true. stagnant water. It's always water. moving, yeah. Like there's white pine, which is disgusting because it's just, ugh. It's a pretty lake, though. The floating docks. Have you guys? Yeah, I think we have. Is that the one with white the, pine? Like, the thing where you could walk across? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were there. Actually, we I were there just water. yesterday. Right? It's pretty it's when it's, my sister goes down there to take photos when it snows. It's pretty. Oh, nice. That's where I have my, I have a, like a pretend fishing <laughs> photo. And you were like, you did not just go fishing. And I was like, no. <laughs> wait, wait, can we talk about your sister? Your sister goes to the beach to take pictures? My sister's obsessed with photos. She'll go anywhere to take photos. Oh. I could literally be like, hey, do you want to go to like Yellowknife and just like go take photos? And she's like, yes, please. Oh, wow. Like that's her jam. So our next episode is going to be. With Alana? Your sister talking about photography. <laughs> she's not, it's not even like, she's not. Not it's not even like a real camera. It's her iPhone, and she's just got like a way oh. like a way more artistic eye, and she's way better at like like I don't like taking photos. Like if she's like, hey, can you take a photo? I'm like, no, because <laughs> she's like, oh, like like literally, like can you like climb up to the ceiling and like hang off with one limb and like just put like angle it like 45 degrees to the right, and then wait, like, let oh, me get wait. this. But I I don't understand. Does she like to take? She likes taking pictures. Yeah. or She likes taking. She likes other people taking pictures. She just of likes her. photos. Oh. Okay. So like my all the <laughs> photos of my nephew, like my sister has. So like they're so you've been to their house. So on the wall behind their couch, yeah, they have, I don't know, let's say seven across and like four down, of like square four by whatever inch photos, and all most of the pictures, like ninety nine percent of the photos, my sister was the one that took them. Oh. And her Instagram, she's obsessed with. She's only she's had it for like half, the amount of time that I've had it, and she has twenty three hundred photos. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were going to say she has 2,300 fans. No, like, she's wow. got 205. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you just like called her out <laughs> online. <laughs> so if you're listening to this, go You can follow her. To... It's private though. She's, I don't know. I'm like, why is it so, like, you don't. Oh, it's private It's too. private. It's like subscription based. She's, although online. she's got a nice, I mean, you can follow her food page. I'll just give her credit for that. Oh, she has another page? Yeah, because she, she actually cooks. And she's actually good at it, and she's because of like love of photography. It's called Alana's Table, I think. Alana, if you're listening to this, Alana's <laughs> underscore table, and it's your actually super cute. Promoting her, oh wow, that is really good. And Alana's she's actually, table. and then she got a kitten, and like he's like in the photos because he loves food. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Wow, that's really good. So that's her. Whereas so, I use it. To... What are you good at? <laughs> Let's talk about you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna. I can drink a small no. <laughs> bottle of wine on her own. I can drink a big one. we just promoted your sister's Instagram. <laughs> I know this is taking a weird twist. Um, I don't know. I guess I like my forte is like food and nutrition. If you if I get oh, drunk enough, yeah. I will talk about food all day long. Oh really? Like, like good food or just even junk food or all kinds like, of different. Like like good food, like because yeah. cause I don't cook and it's not like I it's not the flavor profile. It's like the nutrients involved. Oh bowls. okay. And I've trapped people in like biological conversations before when I was actually in school. So would you be able to like if you're at a restaurant tell people like oh you should probably eat this over. if they had like a pain like my sister has asked me what was healthier pho or chicken wings and I was like <laughs> um let's go with pho <laughs> she's like why I'm like because chicken wings are deep <laughs> <laughs> just by default right at the beginning <laughs> like, right off the bat. am I the only one that sees this like <laughs> but yeah no I can give like a pretty like pretty quick rundown on like or like if you told me what you like ate for the day like what's like like heavily carb based or like mm-hmm. fat based mm-hmm. or like protein based and that's essentially how I, I don't like track I feel like what that's i eat really good information i feel like a lot of people don't know that i yeah it's super like it's super beneficial to know but it's hard like when i first before i was interested in this mm-hmm. i could read a, like a nutrition label and it would say like 500 calories mm-hmm. and i'd say cool i have no idea what that yeah, means yeah like, like those like, numbers mean nothing yeah exactly yeah. and it's like you don't get taught that in school i was like 17 yeah. and i was dating somebody and we were grocery shopping and i wanted muffins and so he was like look at the label i'm like mm, this means nothing yeah and so he kind of broke it down for me and so since i was like 17 18 is when i started to pay attention oh wow. i went on like a kick for like six seven months where i did not eat any trans fat whatsoever like wow. i would look at every label it's i could still tell you what it's in is it not chicken's good for you but it's in chicken skin Oh. So I would literally go out for food with people, and I would peel off the chicken skin. Oh wow! And then it's in like ranch dressing, cheese, like meat, crackers. So I would go through like so everything. I mean, how would you do that? Like, just because it's so hard to find that kind of like, how, like how do you even go, like know where to go to eat, or do you have to make your food at home? Kind of. I feel like 
you it probably starts with like making your own food at home but this is when i was like i was dating this person and we were actually going to the gym and then so like just regular food oh okay but it was in beef so like literally i i don't know if i i don't know if i cut out steak or like ground beef Mm -hmm. because i was so i was obsessed with it for like and i like i went from like eating like two chocolate bars a day to nothing like nothing with trans fat i don't care how much saturated fat was in like like a thing of ice cream Right. I would eat the entire thing of ice cream as long as there was no saturated or trans fat. And in those six months, like, I don't have a lot of weight to lose, but I lost 10 pounds. Wow, really? Simply from that change. So it was an interesting. And then from that point forward, and then I followed, I kind of followed, I tried to go to school for nutrition, but yeah. then it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I took tired. a nutrition class, and it, like, I had to study more for that class than, yeah. like, my real classes. Like, I love it. I felt like Lisa Simpson in that class. Like, every time there was a question, I was like, ooh, ooh. Can like, you play the saxophone? Oh, I wish. I love the saxophone. <laughs> I wish. I've thought about taking lessons, but it's really hard. It's so rare. It's the prettiest noise ever. I guess. I just hear like, the saxophone in the nutrition class. I just pictured that... Um, With my spiky hair. I pictured that uh, YouTube guy that wears like just the jean vest. Oh, yeah. And he's the... like... Da, da, da. Yeah. I should show you, like after, like I should show you a song. It's actually really good. She's, I think... Her thing is called Lovely Laura, and she's like a DJ in Ibiza, Ibiza, mm-hmm. and she plays the saxophone, I, I and she's like really good because it, she's Ibiza? Ibiza. It is Ibiza. I'm just <laughs> making. I just. I can't. I'm. I'm just making fun of it. I know. I'm making fun of myself. Like I can't. I have a really hard time. Like when we went to the keg the other day, if I ordered the filet mignon, I would oh, yeah. literally point to it instead of saying it out loud. Yeah. I'm totally like that as because well. I feel like I'm gonna botch it really hard. Yeah. I feel like I it, it needs to be said. This isn't working. Like. Just in English. Um, I know. I well, the English language butchers all. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. Can I get the flaming non? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Can I just get the filet mignon? Even like Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, but it sounds so pretentious. I know. Like, I would feel... I just feel dumb when I actually use... Even though you know it's pronounced like that yeah it's still feels... i just feel stupid yeah like if i went to a liquor store and i wanted cab sav, i would say like cab cab sav. <laughs> yeah but i feel like people are used to that so i think it's fine and i just well, i think like, it's, it's just like a self-conscious thing it's like yeah. we were talking about poutine downstairs poutine oh. I, I just I can't. and mozzarella the actual like how do you say mozzarella like how do your parents say mozzarella mozzarella <laughs> right like can you imagine i like bust it i'm like hey guys <laughs> People do that though. I served for a really long time. People will, like mid sentence like have you ever seen that like you... a language and they don't speak. Yeah, I just I feel I stupid. Don't think, yeah, I don't think it's right because there's like I was watching a YouTube video where somebody was trying to say one sentence, but he obviously cleverly put together a sentence that had a whole bunch of different terms that are in different languages. Yeah, and it just sounds so ridiculous if you say everything in the language it original like yeah, originally. Yeah, that's, that's from, true. You know. Like, what are you going to start saying things like in Indian? Like, <laughs> right? I mean, like, how are you going to, like, where do you stop? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's actually, that's a pretty good call. You, want some of this? you don't want it? Is it hot chocolate? You don't yeah. want the hot chocolate? Well, I was hoping it would make the smoothie craving go away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Duh, that's a smoothie craving. I, went to, I walked past Jugo Juice, and I thought of you. <laughs> You so know, you have a problem I tried when... just buying, like, a bunch of fruit so I would have some, like, on hand, but all the fruit sucks. Yeah. Like, the strawberries have no taste. The How does my hand no taste. taste? The pears don't have any taste. Yeah, we just bought shitty fruit this week. Like, the pineapple was okay. I feel like it's your taste buds. Maybe they're off on, like, some... Maybe. <laughs> <We're not listening. laughs> um, I don't know. Although, depending if they're in season or not, I don't know. I've never been able. I don't know, like when fruits in season. I know, I know. because like it comes from different places where they are in season, but then. That's true. I, I don't know. I have a. I should bring home that thing. I keep forgetting. I have Stop this. licking my hand. I have this calendar at work. <laughs> <laughs> Does this have taste? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, where get down? He's looking from. He's he literally just licking you. the palm of my hand. He just he does likes that. You. Do you have like lotion on? No. I'm just I'm tasty. Yeah. Bear's just staring at Ange. <laughs> um I don't think we even introduced you on this. <laughs> no. I didn't even know that we were like talking until these <laughs> <laughs> This is the podcast. Bear. <clears throat> get down. He's like, why? I don't mind it, but I mean 
I get to. It gets, gets to be a little much. <laughs> he licks, turns just his head and licks. He likes you. Whatever, I'm into it. Quick, quick lick. At least he's not biting me and like growling at me. That's the worst. When like I can see why people are afraid of dogs. Legit, like I love dogs, but mm-hmm. I've walked by. I was at a girlfriend's house in high school, and she had two Rottweilers. And I've been there before, and I walked from the gate to the front door, and one like growled at me, and I was like, oh, like, I almost like shit my pants. <laughs> Like, because of the growling? Yeah, because like, they're just intimidating dogs. Yeah. So, like, people that have actually been attacked by a dog before, like, I can see it. Dogs are aggressive. Oh, yeah. do you think, like, everybody that is afraid of dogs is because they have been attacked by a dog? I feel like they've had a bad experience. Oh. Or they're just, like, I've met a couple people who just naturally don't like animals, which, which I don't understand. I uh, talk about that. But, like, <laughs> I don't understand. I, I legit do not understand it. But, like, those are, like, the 1% in my mind. Yeah, that's true. I just never understood, like, sometimes we'll walk bare and... We'll see strangers on the street and they'll just like look terrified of bear. They're just like, but he's so small. So I never understand, like, is it just an yeah, rational? Kind of an maybe, I don't know, maybe they had a bad experience. And the small ones aren't always friendly. I used to work with this guy that hated birds. And I know someone that hates birds. Yeah, and he, when he used to live in Australia, he got attacked by birds <laughs> every day to high school. <laughs> Australian? Maybe it's the same person or maybe it's just a, Maybe it's the same shelly. bird. <laughs> maybe. He sent me, no, he tagged me in something on Facebook the other day. Wait, what's his name? Andrew Cox. Oh my god, his first name is Andrew too. That's hilarious. It, that's not his last name though. Maybe, that's really maybe funny. it is, he just doesn't tell people. You can probably hear that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's... <laughs> it's my wine. <laughs> Whatever, it's my Friday, I'm into it. Um... No, but I got tagged in something. I've been to Australia, and, like, the, the spiders are big. I did not see a snake. I don't... I would th- I would cry if I saw a snake. Mm. But I got tagged in something from this person, and it's yeah. a snake hanging from the top of a telephone pole, getting a bird from a roof, and it's just, like... It literally... It's the most, like, demon snake. It's hanging on with, like, its tail just wrapped around, and it stretches itself, and it's fighting this bird in, like, stretched in midair. Wow. Like, oh Snakes are so gross. I have a friend who used to have a snake, and it used to get out of its, like, enclosure all the time, and he would find it on the counter in the bathroom. I'm like, how did it get up there? Like, snakes can move. Yeah. <laughs> it can like, really fast. Well, it can, like, lift itself up, like, I'm curious, like, ugh, they're yeah. just, I'm not into it. I guess, like, that is something that I keep forgetting, that everything is bigger in Australia. So, like, maybe the birds are... <laughs> Pretty aggressive? <laughs> they're just tired. Pyrodactyls well, or pterodactyls? If you ever, I used to go, like, I was training for a half marathon and I used to go running around Burnaby Lake all the time. And the freaking geese. <laughs> geese are intense. Like, it's not like the shit. I don't care about the poo. Like, no, you can avoid like, the poo, but if you run by them, they are like, if you, they're, it's like me in a mood. <laughs> you if you just catch them off. <laughs> <laughs> they literally, and especially if there's babies around, they are, oh, yeah. you can be on the path yeah. and you can just like come like to, a little bit too close for their comfort and yeah. they will like come at you. And yeah. it's, it's. <laughs> and when I, when I used to work at Wonderland, we saw like at the theme park. Yeah. It was the same thing with the geese versus the seagulls. And they were just so violent towards each oh, other. Oh, you made it sound like it was like war. Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> Geese versus seagulls. That could be like a cartoon movie. That would be pretty funny. I yeah, literally, I looked up a civil, because I was, I was curious, because Can- Canadians, Canadian. Canadians yeah. are so polite. I was like, have we ever had a civil war? I legit Googled it. Yeah. I don't think so. And we, no, we've only, I feel like we played both sides, because we, when this happened, something about, like, History is not my forte, and I'm trusting Google to talk about this. No, that, that, but like <laughs> we're historians on yeah. this podcast. Yeah, so. clearly. Um, well, Wikipedia says. <laughs> um, but apparently, we played we played a game in Britain's War and the U.S. Civil War, and apparently, um, we lost like seven thousand, seventy thousand. But there's a whole bunch of Canadians uh, that died. But we, as a nation, have never had a civil war. I mean, if you don't count Quebec. <laughs> We never count Quebec. That's our civil war. Is us. We just don't like Quebec. <laughs> it's a polite civil war. We just say, don't come screw here, please. You. No, you screw you. But send your food. Your put in. Send, send your cheese curds. <laughs> We've got a NAFTA for cheese. <laughs> I mean, it's understandable. Cheese is good. My cheese block at home literally just has bite marks out of it. Because I'm not slicing it anymore. I'm just walking. <laughs> I live alone. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take. Well, I'm gonna dirty a knife. 
That's totally fair. I feel like I would do the exact same thing. Like, I'm not mad about it. I'm surprised you even have glasses to be, to be honest. I would drink everything. She has more glasses bottle. than we do. I have glasses for when people come over, but I haven't, mm. I haven't had people over in a while. I guess because my night shift has kind of completely screwed mm. things up, but... Yeah, has that like been have, difficult? I'm mean, used to it now, but the shift from, like, so this is my weekend, so when I go back on whatever day I go back... And it's really hard for me to tell which day it is because it's just so, oh like, God, yeah. I, I feel like imagine. I'm in, like, a daze. But it's good because, like, I feel like I've been eating and, like, eating better and drinking less and I'm going to the gym because I don't have anything else really to do because it's always at such an awkward because time. Because your night is, is day. Yeah. So, like, and especially because I was sleeping, like, I have a, I wasn't sleeping properly even when I worked during the day. I'd always wake up around 4 o'clock in the morning, but then I would just lie there until I had to go to work. Oh. So now when I wake up... I just go to the gym. Oh. Like yesterday, I went to the gym before work, and I left at I think through like three thirty or. But does that just mean that you're sleeping less? I don't know, because yeah. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm only sleeping around five hours a night. Oh man, that's like not a lot. No, it's not. And I then so last night I worked. Like so I'm like I don't know if I'm just naturally because I was doing this I before. I get seven and a half, and I'm like cranky. Because <laughs> I used to well I used to go to bed like at the appropriate time, uh, hoping that I would get eight hours of sleep, but I would yeah. always wake up around literally like four ten. That was my time. Oh, okay. And then so if I'm, and then I would just lie, because it's 4, 10 in the morning, like I'm not going to get up and That's go. That's really early, man. So I would just lie there. And then so now because it's daytime and stuff is open. So yeah. like yesterday I just woke up, couldn't fall asleep. And so I just went to the gym. So it's like, I've been going to the gym quite a bit more. Which is good. That's the good side Like if it. I can't naturally sleep, I don't feel like I'm losing sleep. So like maybe I'm just like, just dis- not disposed, like, but like just naturally only the, like your maybe your body is telling you to wake up yeah like mm, i just don't need maybe. more maybe i'm just so energetic on a good day <laughs> <laughs> you're right um yeah, yeah i don't know so what are your shifts like what, what, what time do you start last night i worked from 7 p.m to 7 a.m oh yeah and it didn't even snow really? it didn't even snow i don't know why i was there so <laughs> is, is your job to like to get rid of the snow or to if, it's, it? if it snows but or then both. like i was so i salted so salty um, so I salt the road. So if the temperatures drop to one degree or lower, then it could freeze. Okay. So all the water, any sort of moisture on the road or the parking lots can freeze. Mm-hmm. So okay. it gets real slippery. And then, but last night, and I have a little thing that you can point it at the ground and it tells you the temperature. It was three degrees. Wow. So I was like, laser. yeah. Cool. So it, and then I, my foot was 25 degrees for your information. Oh yeah, you can point out different <laughs> things though, right? Obviously. Yeah, my foot was 25, so, you know, <laughs> fun fact. <laughs> foot sweating. We used to um. for the butter for the dough. Yeah. Now we use like the actual thermometer to get the inside reading of the butter pieces. Yeah. Wow. Is that yeah. internal temp of the butter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Been there. But we used to just High tech pastry chef? One, like the master craft one. Isn't that a boat? No, it's, like a <laughs> it's a boat. It might be a boat too. Mastercraft? I'm pretty sure Mastercraft is a boat. It's a fun boat. It's a speed boat. We should go boating. <laughs> I, like boating. I love being on the water. I think we need a boat. Not so much first. tubing. Tubing just hurts now, but <laughs> I'm down with boating. Man, like some people go hard when they go tubing. Yeah. Like, well, I think you're like at the disposal of whoever's driving. Oh, yeah. I was driving in the boat, and I got him <laughs> off the tube, and he fell off so hard, he ripped his shark. <laughs> I felt so bad. Because when you hit water that hard, it's, like, a hard oh, yeah. service. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I think the I just, I just really like to tight. drive stuff, so I just got caught up in driving. <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> you were just like, I thought I was towing someone. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. He was, yeah, whatever. He liked it. It was a cultist. It was fun. Yeah, he loved ripping his shorts. <laughs> I think we all thought it was funny. Yeah. But I think he was drunk. I was like, I literally, and I took it seriously. Like, I wasn't drinking at all. I was driving the boat dead sober. Wow. I was like, I'm being responsible. <laughs> After we got kicked out of a park for drinking. <laughs> a water park. But boating is fun. I just like being on the water. Literally, like, I should go to AliExpress. For, I should, it's February. Like, get popping for summertime. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It's this true. is a good time, yeah. If you're going to order anything online, you might as well start now. I need to go get a new bathing suit. AliExpress. Oh, yeah, we, for Vegas. I feel like this is a commercial for AliExpress right now. <laughs> I know, so right? Just talking it up. A lot of people think it's weird, but, like, I'm if you have 30 cents... It's been least. around for so long. <laughs> well, it's like, that's where all the stuff from the dollar store comes from. So yeah. it's like, you're you're even overpaying at the dollar store. Yeah. Like, yeah. literally. Although, like, so I, when I go on it, I search, like, free shipping. Like, I'm not paying mm. 30 cents for something and $5 for shipping. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. So, 
I don't know. It depends on what you're looking for. Like, I just, my mom just likes to shop. Like, literally, every time I go there, there's a package at the door. I'm like, what are you, what are you buying? Is there anything that you feel that like you're like that as well? No, I'm like the polar opposite. Like, I can count oh. on one hand what I bought last year. Oh, wow. I bought three bathing suits, a pair of shorts, and my pink bands. All from AliExpress. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. No, and I went to Simon's for the bathing suits. Simon's in West Ham. And then I heard when we were at Victoria's Secret the other day, apparently they're bringing bathing suits back. Mm. Apparently. I don't know where I saw that. I feel like I made that up because I tried to Google it. Is it weird that I do this more often than not? Like, I think of things. So when I first started these night shifts, I couldn't tell what was, like, real life and what I had dreamt. Oh, yeah, and it was all that... just, like, one big blur. And I was like, did I have that conversation? My or was that a dream? My dreams sometimes are so real that I feel like, like two seconds ago, we were talking about that beach. Yeah. And I turned to you. I was like, oh, weren't we there yesterday? But now I'm starting to realize I had a dream that we were there. Um, and it's like, it's confusing. I don't, I can't tell what's reality and what's not. Is that why you thought that not, you didn't have this conversation with Matt? Which one? Which conversation? About doing the podcast thing. Oh, no, that was this morning, and then I just, I just, this morning felt, feels like a lifetime ago, because I napped. Oh. Uh, and that's because I hadn't, when I was awake, and, like, I had gone to the mall, I hadn't slept yet uh, from last night, and I worked 12 hours. So I went, got home, and I got, time. and I got yeah. groceries, and then I went home, I think. And, no, I didn't even know the groceries were in my car, so I went directly to Fulton Center, wandered around. They moved Lululemon, so I had to, like, wander around. Oh, yeah, they moved it. To the corner of the food court and the main drag. Oh, that's where I knew it was. I don't know where it used to be. <laughs> so why do you even ask? <laughs> maybe it's in a different spot than... <laughs> maybe. I mean, it's fair. I've lived here a lot longer. So, I mean, things change and those are just normal for you, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't go to that mall too, too often. Don't you go... Where do you go with... What's your face? We only went to the mall once. Oh. It was that mall. Oh. Guilford. I want to go to Guilford. Yeah, I don't mind it. I like those are better. It's a bit bigger. And there's oh, a lot yeah? more cops and a lot yeah. more drama. <laughs> Apparently, it's like, I don't know if this is fashion or not, but at one point in time, it was like the place to have your car broken into. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. And I Honda can, Civics I, were like the thing, too. So, good times. Yeah, I could I could totally see that. I mean, the last time we were there at that mall, we were at the food court having dinner or something. And yeah. there was like five cops outside yeah. the door, lights on, everything. And I was like. I why feel is, like it's common. Why is Surrey so trashy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is a bigger mall, though. There's like a Disney store and stuff in there. and like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where you draw the line. If you have well, a Disney store, Disney you are a big mall. Disney stores are normally in bigger malls. <laughs> well, does Metro Town still have a Disney, Disney mall? I've, it used Disney to. Disney mall. I think so. yeah. It's a pretty bumpy so. place when I was little. Metro Town is, is, I feel like, too big. I feel like that's a mall that took steroids. I feel like it's spacious. I don't feel like there's a more there. It's just a spacious It's kind of like Quan to see in quality. Like, I feel like Coquitlam Center, I, there's no reason for me to go to Metro Town because Coquitlam Center has everything that you would need versus, right. like, Metro Town's got, like, these random-ass stores right. that don't do anything. Yeah. It's like Lowheed fits inside of Metro Town and it just expanded. It's, like, bloated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I you like know? Guilford because it's a bit bigger than... When you get there in, in one shot. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get a bike. <laughs> I want a motorcycle? <laughs> Well, that, but like, I want to get like, a, <laughs> I want to get like, I want to get like a bicycle, like, although not where I bell. live. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Ange lives on this the craziest hill. <coughs> Sorry, I had to do it. That 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 just amplified it. <laughs> the craziest hill. Oh really? Oh, I tried to cover it. Whatever. Are you both here? Yeah, I could hear. Her. Uh, I think she can hear me too. I can hear you. The, you um, are two feet away from me. Yeah, she's like, well, I can also hear you. Guys. <laughs> I don't have a fancy No, I could hear her, like, right in my left ear. Yeah, that left ear. Yeah, Ange, like, lives on this crazy hill that's, like, insane. So her getting a bike would be probably okay going down, but It'd be probably a good time big. going down. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'd be scared. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, steep. I think I, oh, I want to actually figure it out. I'm pretty sure I tried to Google it, and I'm not sure the terminology, whether it's degrees or percent, but it's 18 it might be percent. So it's like an 18% hill because like a 45 degree angle, which is degree though. Because I remember, remember we used to, when we were on that road trip with the camper, we'd always see the signs like, be careful, this like is a grade. 9%. Yeah. And you might have been sleeping the whole time. 
I think it, well, and I've seen in Port Moody going up Snake Hill, there's, I think that's 10%. Yes, you're right. So it's, it's for trucks. Yeah. Trucks. Um, a 10% grade. So yours, what you're saying is yours 18. is 18. I think. I tried to Google that's it. That's insane. Is that more? Is that steeper? Or? Yes. Oh, okay. Cause if, that's the steepest it, I've ever, I've never seen anything I like think, that. I could, I mean, there's a small chance I'm making this up. There's no, an 80% like, chance I'm making this up. She's 100% right. Um, it's but it's a real hill. steep hill. Like, to walk up it, like, I'm a decently fit human being, and, like, that when I get to the top of it, like, I need, like, a glass of water stat by the time I get home. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think crying. anybody would. Right? Like, just <laughs> human being. <laughs> human being does that not come across i'm a decent human being okay i, I need have water. morals <laughs> i don't know um, by the time i get to the top i have morals it's like when people like it's the hill that people use to punish their children like go get morals and walk up the hill please <laughs> oh my god that's like literally if i had a kid where i live yeah, i would literally for the gym just walk up the hill a few times just i know right? i thought about it i'm like my ass at the end of that would probably yeah. be so nice just by walking up and down it's really hard on your knees though to go back down <laughs> Get a bike, go back down, ride it up. Yeah. I don't know, but it's aggressive. It's almost like you need a ski lift. No. You really do. I'll be driving home one day, you see me walking your hill <laughs> with weights. <laughs> Ankle weights? Um, no, legit. I don't, I'm surprised. You don't see very many people walking that hill. That's no. how you see like school age children who have no choice. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember first seeing that hill for the first time when we first moved out here. And I remember just going up, like just approaching the hill mm-hmm. and just seeing it is like terrifying. I had, I had a dream um that you look out my window and going down the hill it got so like so my dream to like an, not enunciate yeah enunciate how steep it is you, it's like a roller coaster when you go over and you can't uh. see <laughs> yeah and that's like i can still feel it in my like dream the butterfly. yeah because yeah. like you you think that you're driving into like the abyss and it's there's still road but it's like legit just straight down that's what my dream was and that's how steep this freaking hill is yeah and it's, it is. it's, it's not uh, this is not curvy it's like a straight shot oh but if like, it was curvy i feel like there'd be a lot more accidents God. But that's like so. It, when it snowed, I didn't even bother parking near like near my house because I'm like I'm not gonna go down it. If I start I would slipping, love to know yeah. who even goes up that hill when it's snowy. Trucks. Well, my landlords have a truck, and so they always park in the driveway. But and the, like the pickup truck will do it. I think so. Wow. So the other day when it was kind of snowing, I just parked at the top. At least I'm only I'm four driveways from the kind of like the top ish of the hill. Yeah. So I'm still relatively close to the top, but it, even then I'm like, oh man, it's aggressive. That's like what. That's what bugs me when people from like Ontario and like the prairies. I'm like, hey, it's snow. Like whatever, suck it up. I'm like, yeah. do you understand what I hell is? Yeah. It's a very good point. I get it when there's hills involved. Yeah. Just like, yeah, and like even I slipped. I parked at the bottom, and it, when the first day that it snowed, I parked at the bottom of the hill going to work. I was trying to like put my way down, and I legit slipped. Didn't hurt myself, but like. Yeah. And I don't know who saw that. I mean, I don't even care. Like, you're, you're welcome for the entertainment. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Doing the exact same thing. Yeah, fall. this is right, this is right here. <laughs> and I have salt. I should just take salt home from work. You just, oh, yeah. you know what you should do? You should, as you're walking, your just pocket. salt. <laughs> salt them. Like, like a flower girl. Yeah. <laughs> the salt lady. <laughs> You'll be the crazy salt lady. The neighborhood salt lady. Oh, people will be so happy. People, thank you. I know, right? You're welcome, yeah. <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> They'll just be following you. Never You're did anything for you. I like Jackson drinks, Cam, Cam Sof. Cam Sof? Sauvignon. Sauvignon. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm over the snow. I'm ready for a beach. Yeah. And I feel a bit of an asshole by complaining about the snow because when it does snow in BC... It the does city melt. Shuts down. Yeah, but it, yeah, but it does melt. You can depend on it. Yeah. Like in a day or yeah. two. Yeah. Like it snowed a couple days ago. It like snowed last it's... night, and there's nothing in my house now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like last night at work, we just saw it coming down. People were like, "Oh my god, I gotta go home. I'm never gonna get home." Because I live on a steep ass hill. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally just me and Ange talking. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah, but like everyone... six personalities. I can be yeah. anyone you want. That's true. <laughs> But everybody at work was just like, I need to go home, this, that, and everyone did take off. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you go home and it's like pretty much melted. Yeah. And I feel like in other parts of Canada, that's not the case. Like it'll snow, but it's like 
for good reason that they're bitching because it'll stay on the ground for like yeah three weeks and then we can bombard it again like montreal got like 40 centimeters of snow of one in one day yeah it's intense that's too much well when i went to alberta i feel like and it just it's a matter of like your surroundings and what you're mm-hmm. used to like here a couple of years ago when i worked in an office it was pretty much just like okay if you can't get to work you can't get to work like yeah. it just is what it is for right. the city but i was for new year's i was in blairmore alberta and it snowed the entire like population 500 like no one was there and it snowed the entire time that we were there so by the time that we <clears throat> went to go leave we had to like like push navigate push and pull and like just like rock the car oh, out of the wow. spot and like because it was just like a regular the, the person driving was from austin texas oh so he had no <laughs> idea no idea and then so all the Why albertans because he, <clears throat> yeah, he rented you a car the the, the, because <laughs> the we all met up because we all met up so there was like six different cars or something oh okay and um and like americans bless their soul he went to walmart for alcohol oh <laughs> He walked around. Collision. I was like, "Where is the alcohol?" They were like, "The liquor Keep store." He's <laughs> <laughs> like, "Oh, that's nice." As long as you, you weren't like, "Oh, just check down aisle 11. We're Canadian. We're not by. that rude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the Sorry. inconvenience. Would you like me to go for you? <laughs> Wait here. Wait here. Why I leave Walmart? <laughs> no, have you ever got caught in like a Canadian like standoff where like at a stop sign or like I was like. <laughs> Cactus Club, and it was like double doors, and it was a yeah. whole bunch of people. Oh, nice! And it was a whole bunch of people stuck at like the Don double- just interrupted us just to show us. Sorry, somebody that he knows. Um, I don't know those people. <laughs> she doesn't What's know Ron? Ron Weasley from. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. And we're watching it. <laughs> you were watching it yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. He looks, he what looks are we different saying? when he's not wearing a robe. I thought that was Ron <laughs> Howard. <laughs> what? The director. No, Weasley. I know, it looked like Ron Howard. <laughs> Weasley, duh. <laughs> I think um, his name is Rupert. Uh, Rupert Grint. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't have known that. Britain's Is favorite that ginger. I don't even remember I what you said. It was Double Doors favorite. at Cactus Club and we're Canadian. I don't know why oh, I remember yeah, like yeah, yeah. the <laughs> one of those things just like I'm buzz. okay yeah <laughs> but no like a Canadian standoff at stop signs yeah what happens at a when everyone's like no you go no you go no 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 you just... and no, everyone's please. waving at each you. other and then I was at Cactus Club down the street and they have double doors and there was four people involved and everybody was holding a door for each other and oh, it was just like <laughs> someone go <laughs> And then so I literally was like, okay, and then just whatever. And then so the person I was was holding the person for that person. So like we went, and then they got stuck. And they're like, no, just come. Oh, after just... you. No, no, please, after you. Oh, no, no, and it was like we were no, so polite, like <laughs> it's so, so funny. Right. It's that, so funny. That always reminds me of that thing that we did in the states, where we were like driving around and oh yeah, we're Canadian. We're like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna do a, we're gonna pull a good prank on someone. So we had pulled up. We didn't say sorry. And there was a mailbox. <laughs> And the mailbox thing was down, and we just flipped it up. Like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna think they're gonna have mail tomorrow morning. <laughs> probably did like, have Whoa. mail tomorrow morning. We probably did this. We probably did the postal worker a service. <laughs> it was so funny. And then we, we all knew it was not a prank. Yeah. No, like, but then we drove let's around. Do it. Like, we're like, yeah, we were filming. Yeah, it. yeah, we were driving around. We're like, oh, that's such a that's such a Canadian prank. Like, so small but meaningless. And and then we turn around. We're like, oh, I kind of feel bad. <laughs> so we went back <laughs> we and put turned it down. It down. <laughs> And we're a Canadian prankster. Canadian prankster. <laughs> Pulling a prank, feeling sorry. Funny. I saw something on the internet about Canadian graffiti in a porta potty, and it was like, your mom's a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, true. That's so funny. Porta potties are gross. There was, yeah, I was I on one. Porta porta potty over nothing. Oh my god, oh. who has the time to do graffiti in a porta potty? People that are taking large dumps. <laughs> yeah, true. it's. Porta potties are like get in and get out. Yeah. Yeah, because just oh, okay. So, so I, I went on a <laughs> speaking of porta potties, went on a date the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true story too. Perfect. Perfect segue. Um, no, we went out for disgusting ramen, and then we were wandering around the neighborhood because I had time to kill, mm. and so we're just walking around, and I really had to go pee. And he's a dude; he could pee on the side of a building, which he mm. did. I was like, mm, I think and that's I was, illegal, but yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. And um. <laughs> And I was wearing my pink vans, and I'm like, I'm not risking peeing on my brand new shoes. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. So 
I was like, okay, we're in, like, suburbia, and then based on, like, my dump trucking experience, I'm like, okay, we just got to find a house mid-build, and we'll find a porta body like, 90% wow. chance. This is your first date? Yeah. Cool. And then, so we went hunting <laughs> for porta potties and it was dark. It was, like, right after it snows, it was, like, zero degrees. It's cold, it's dark, does not yeah. smell good. Where are yeah. we walking? We're just walking around our neighborhood on a date was just to a... kill time. It's cold. I know, he gave me his jacket, which Aww. was nice. Um, but yeah, and then I found a random porta potty to go pee in because I'm like, I'm not going on like behind a bush or anything. No. And then we ended up finding a 7 Eleven that had a bathroom, but you know, whatever. Now, this is wouldn't the have first this... date. Like, let's... Yeah, and then I literally was like, <laughs> what would you have done if like, because you can hear everything in a porta potty. It's not like it's insulated. Yeah. Like, you can probably hear the pee. Yeah. Probably. Hitting the bottom of And I was like, bottom what of would you do if I accidentally like, ripped a fart? <laughs> and he was like, I probably would have laughed so freaking hard. And I was like, I kind of wish I did now, but, like, <laughs> like weed out the, like... You're like, this is what you're dealing with. Yeah, essentially. Know gonna essentially. Like, one day, this could happen, so I just want to, like, figure it out now. Let's well, with you, it will it happen. <laughs> In time. I was with Ryan, who was on the phone, and I said something, and so Ryan starts laughing, and then I just farted. And the person on the phone was like, I don't even understand what's just happening. And Ryan was like, I don't know how to explain what's happening. <laughs> Angela, just stop. <laughs> and I'm just like driving. So how did so after the first date? Um, we, was there a callback? Yeah, I talked to him today. We were supposed to go for faux, and then I said I was. I, was, I said because I need to have a nap today because graveyards mm-hmm. and to shift into regular. Mm. I need to sleep, and I will let you know. And I'm like, do you have like a schedule to keep, or like can I just nap and then I'll let you know? I'm like around dinner time, and I'm like I'm gonna ballpark like 5 p.m. ish. This was before we agreed to do this. And he's like, okay, sounds good. And I woke up from my nap, and it was 3.50. <laughs> and he'd been like, okay, hey, what's the address? I'm going to leave now. And I was like, I said, A, ballpark. And I haven't even, I'm told you that I'm going to nap. Yeah. And then I didn't get back to him. Not even 20 minutes. And he was like, okay, hey, whatever. Another night then. Ooh. And I was like, I don't know. I... Enjoy these first date stories I, so I'm much. I'm glad someone I do, does. <laughs> I definitely want to create a whole segment. He Angela, you. Oh, it just sassed me out for no reason. Be impatient. Oh yeah, which is fine. Like <laughs> I, I mean, don't, like, you would give it more than twenty minutes. I would give anyone more than twenty minutes. Like, are you kidding me? And I said, <laughs> I was said that I was napping, and I said, does okay ballpark? Does no one know what that means? Like a very, very, very rough I estimate of a maybe, time. Maybe he didn't understand ballpark. Yeah. Because I said ballparking 5 like, p.m. Whoa, field? Are you in a field? Maybe. Are you watching baseball? But then if you're that stupid, then just whatever. I don't want to date you anyways. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> like, I just can't believe. And I literally was like, I don't I don't care anymore. I don't, like, <sighs> one red flag, and I'm like, What's bye. another? What's another good one uh, first date story that you got? What's the last date that I went on? I think it was when I went to... Cork something in Coquitlam when I made it with a dude at the table. <laughs> <laughs> he was cute. <laughs> you just introduced yourself and then you guys just started making out? No, we met on Bumble and then we matched. And then, no, we matched in November. In and November? Then, in November. And then because I, okay, this sounds really cocky, but I get so many freaking messages that I can't keep up. And so I yeah. lose interest in like a lot of people because I just, the you conversation gotta, you dwindles. To, you need to create a wall. I really with do. Pictures, with pictures and names and things you like about them. Well, and then so <laughs> some people are super interesting to talk to, and some people are dry as, like, they just cannot hold a conversation. Right. And so it's like, I'll talk to them with, like, a wicker chair. So if you can't <laughs> hold a the conversation, there's something seriously wrong with you. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Especially if you're going on a date, you should, like, be prepared to talk. Exactly. So yeah. it's like, I just, and some people just, ah, ah. So, ah, whatever. And so this was November, and I had a whole bunch of people, and so it just dwindles off. And then, but I'm like, okay, like, I'm gonna, I was bored at work trying to, I mean, when I was dumb trucking, and I was going trying to, like, recycle through, and, like, because why did I stop talking to this person? Like, what's wrong with all these people at the bottom of the list? Oh, yeah. like, you were just trying to reevaluate. Yeah, so I was just going, I was just going through. So this was January. Almost like a, what is it, what do they call when you go through a uh, inventory auction? No, not auction. <laughs> I don't know what you're getting I'm at. Think of the, <laughs> Okay, I'll get back to it. Um, but yeah, so that's all I did, and I went. So we matched and talked in November when I was doing my personal training course. Because the reason we stopped was I had the course, and I had plans that weekend. Okay. And so I just stopped. And so I went, and he's at the bottom of the list. 
I was like, oh, like the ba- like the conversation was fun. It went back and forth, and like he's good looking enough. Mm-hmm. And so I was, and like literally, it's been three months. So all I said was like, hey, it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then it went right back to like back and forth talking. I was like, okay. Hey. This is ramen guy. No, this is the person who I made it with at the dinner table. Oh, uh, okay, right. And in a public space. <laughs> in a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm a little bit more classy than that. They had real bathrooms. That's true. Um, but no, and then so we went to some place. It's Cork something. Okay. Craft and Cork, I think it's called. It's on the corner. It's So he lives like almost an hour away from me. But because I drive for a living, I'm like, I'm not leaving my house. Like, I can't. I just can't physically get back in my car. So he drove yeah. 50, five zero minutes, and I drove like seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And um, we went, and we didn't eat, just drink. And I had a good time. I think it's like it's also like pretty important to know if you're listening and you're thinking about like asking a girl out. If she says she drives for a living, go to her. Go to her. Please just go to her because I mean yeah. I, the last thing she wants to do is just get back in her get freaking back car. In her car. Yeah, it's not. We're not trying to be rude or anything. We're no. just saying like it's literally like it all depends on the story. Like like that particular day, I spent two hours in my truck coming home just from work. Right. So it's like, you want me to get back in my car? After getting ready, going back in my car yeah. and meet you. It's like, then wait until the weekend when I have the energy to face traffic again. Right. Because I just battled it literally Yeah, if you want a long. weekday date, Yeah, this prepared. is like a Wednesday or something. Yeah. <laughs> be prepared to drive. <laughs> like, I just, I think it's like, yeah, like, I literally, like, my standards, I will not leave my, like, the bubble that we're in. Like, wow. my friends live here. Yeah. Like, literally, there's stuff. There's cactus. There's, like, a whole bunch yeah. of stuff around. <laughs> like, I don't need to leave anymore. Like, I'm not leaving anymore. Like, I don't care. Like, I've been doing this for way too long. If you want to tell, if you want to date me, you have to come to me. Until I can prove that you're worth a more than a 10-minute drive. <laughs> I mean, I think that's fair, considering all we've been through on your dating. All we've been through? <laughs> yeah. All we've been through. At the least. Three of us. I know, right? It's true. I feel like this has been a team effort. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah. So, I mean, that was the last one. Prior to the porta potty Robin dude, I, I think there's a lot in these stories that we can explore as a segment alone. Oh yes, because well, I'm a psycho, with, or because my dates suck. <laughs> no, because the dates suck. Yeah. No, you would. No, th- that date was fine. I talked to him afterwards, and then he literally just we talked, and then he got like busy, air quotes busy, and then he just fell off the face of the earth. Yeah. And then I, as a grown up, did not. Or that, like, yeah. Normally, <laughs> normally, no, I've gotten no. better. Like, last year, I definitely would have snapped. And, like, I just love to cause a scene and I love to confront people. Yeah. But, like, I'm getting really, I'm getting a lot better at just walking away from situations. Which is good. So, Which I feel really like good. I'm finally. Um, <laughs> so, like, even the whole After today, I literally just, oh, and backs. I got into an argument with somebody last night because he called me testy. And I was like, you want to see Ooh. testy? <laughs> That is a whole other story. <laughs> no, some random dude who I haven't even met yet. We were still in like, the talking stages. We're still in the first 24-hour period. And he's just like, why are you so testy tonight? And I'm like... Mm, that and, like, doesn't sound like, like an opening sentence. Like the, like the demon glaze like why took over. So and I was like, but you don't even know me. And you're a random dude and you're calling me... T- like, what if this is just my personality? Mm. Yeah. Like, you don't know. And then he got offended that I called him random. And I was like, do I know you, though? Like, you're not Seriously. common. And then it's so it, interesting and then it blew how up. these people have, like, they feel like they know you enough to go. I just rolled my eyes really hard. Yeah, I don't get it. There was a Valentine's Day guy, too. Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Valentine's? Uh, um, I'm what literally, happened? it's getting, I can't even keep track. Um, <laughs> he got upset at her before they even had their date. Oh, yeah, so we went out for sushi, and he got annoyed because, so we had plans, and then my friend Ryan came over because he was having a really bad day and just like, kind of like, not showed up at my house, but like, un- unexpectedly invited, invited himself over. And I was like, oh, like, he's in a really bad mood. A whole bunch of stuff is happening, so like, he's at my house, and I'm going to have to like, reschedule our plans. Right. I get that it sounds iffy because he's a dude, but like, whatever, I have friends that are guys, I don't care. Not for him to judge before no. he's Right? Bad. And yeah, then he, he should be judging. So he he got testy, <laughs> <laughs> and that I rescheduled. And then I'm like, no, like we can like tomorrow. It's just tonight I have to reschedule. So we rescheduled for sushi. It was fine. We went went to work, and then I was like, I just like that was my first day at this new job, and I had to work seven days straight, nights. Wow. 
So I was like, I just don't have time. And then when I do have a day off, like I would love to sit here and say I'm going to have all the energy in the world, but yeah. I've never worked graveyards before, and I just don't understand. I don't. I can't tell you what to expect. Like I don't know. Yeah. In, like in real life, I can't see people like not understanding that. So he was super patient. We talked every single day, almost and like almost to the point that he was annoying. And like I turned on like Do Not Disturb yeah. to like his messages. Because I was with Don when we were shopping, and he was, like, slicing, dicing. Like, I don't need to know the steps of your cooking. <laughs> like, literally, like, blowing up my phone, like, just he's keeping like, me. He's like, fuck, I forgot a lemon. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I don't need, like, I don't need, like, the internal monologue that is your brain. So you have people brain. that don't text enough. And, and then people, people that, that text over way too much. And I'm like, I feel like I can't win. But, yeah, so, I, I mean, I enjoyed talking to him, too, like, enough. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, like, 100% attracted to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, like, at this point, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> so what happened on Valentine? So we meet up on Valentine's. So Valentine's Day is our second date. Okay. Ever. And then, oh, and then he got annoyed prior to this second date even. So we've been on one singular date and we've talked for maybe five days. And he got annoyed that he went back onto the dating app that we like met through and he could see that I was online. He got annoyed that I had been online. Um, and I was like, why shouldn't I be online? Like, I don't know you. <laughs> yeah. We've been on one date. And then he's like, oh, like just the way that I date is I see one person at a time. And I was like, I would see, I'm monogamous too, but like, I need to find someone to be oh. monogamous with. Yeah. <laughs> like, one date doesn't, and a case in point, after Valentine's Day, he was just like, no, like, I'm not interested. I was like, so what if I literally told everyone that I was talking to that I'm no longer interested because I'm seeing someone? Mm-hmm. What would you like me to do after that? Like, yeah. literally, like, I don't understand. I don't understand, like, even with the app thing, do you have to have the app running to be online? Or is it just that your account is active? Well, I don't know, because I have my, I the app was through my iPad, oh, which I think was so at it home. Be like on all the time or whatever. And I was like, I feel like it was at home through my Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. So I was like, I don't know. And I was like, I don't. And plus, like, it's just the first date. Like, exactly. That's why I was like, Are you kidding me right now? And I said, I said, I said to him, I'm like, This is super off-putting. Like, I'm not. This is like, Oh my god. Yeah. I yeah. feel like at that point, it's like, uh, Was your last relationship somebody that you didn't trust? Or? Apparently, her name was Angelo. Uh oh. And she was crazy. I'm like, Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he made me dinner and he bought me flowers. He bought me like a big bouquet of flowers. Oh, that's nice. Are they at home? They're at home. I watered them today. Nice. Um, I felt like they were dying, so I put them in the sunshine, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to... I can take care of cats, not plants. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, and the name of this podcast is... <laughs> cats, not plants. <laughs> um, no, and then he made me angel hair pasta. It was good. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it. I like al dente, so angel hair is too thin to get out. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I can see how it's a, I can see how it would be like mushy if you don't do it right. I don't know. Yeah. I wasn't like, he literally told me not to cook because I can't cook, and he's like, I'm afraid you're going to ruin it. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, you are my kind of man. Just sat down with my bottle of wine. <laughs> um, with like my straw. <laughs> I know, and he didn't even drink. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't need like an alcoholic, but like, literally, like, I just feel weird just drinking. He didn't, like, Matt will drink a beverage or two. Yeah. But he did not drink anything. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's. It almost feels awkward. Yeah. If you don't. Yeah. Yeah, and then. Unless yeah. you're like comfortable enough. Yeah. The best is if we go somewhere where there's sangria, because you always like sangria. I do. I'm a sucker for sangria. Yeah. It, I mean, it's good. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So. But that's another way of drinking wine that I'm totally fine with. Yeah. I was gonna say, do you even like wine? I'm okay with it, but when you start putting fruit in it, it's like I just game put changer. For you, but... <laughs> but for future reference. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Slaps my hand away from the bottom. (laughs) You don't mind, do you? (laughs) Probably data that guy too. Literally, oh, is this for me? Thanks. (laughs) But yeah, so that was my Valentine's Day. He got cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake, and then he gave me. This is my favorite part of the date is Mm. that when I left, and so it was snowing, and I like apparently he says that 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 I left abruptly, but I'm like it was snowing aggressively. Like the flakes were huge. And I live on a really steep hill. So I was like, I just had anxiety about, like, just getting home. Yeah. And so he was like, are you sure? Like, I didn't say anything. Like, you, pre- you left pretty abruptly. I'm like, I was probably in my head for the past half an hour just staring at the window, like, yeah. freaking out. Yeah. And I was like, and I mean, it's not like it was, like, the most riveting conversation I've ever had. Yeah. yeah. And then, so it's he like packs. podcast. Right? <laughs> and Lit fire. <laughs> so he packs, he packed me a lunch. He gave me. Some pasta and a slice of cheesecake in his personal. Wow, software. he actually even packed you a lunch. Well, he like half because he would like 
he had wanted to do that for like a while. I have no idea why. Well, but pack your lunch? Just give me lunch. I don't know because he thinks that he's a good cook and because I he... won't cook for myself. But Does yeah, he have so... kids? No. Does he want kids? <laughs> no, he said he was indifferent. I've been thinking about packing your lunch. For a really long have time Have you ever now. been walked to school before? <laughs> but yeah, so he gave me... He gave me Tupperware, <laughs> which is glass with a snappy lid. Oh, did and, you keep it? Yeah, because nice. the next morning he was like, oh, like, I'm not interested. I was like, oh, no worries. Like, I no literally worries. was texting my girlfriend, be like, how am I supposed to get out of this? Like, I've got Tupperware. <laughs> like, His toothbrush is in my that house. Was, yeah. <laughs> and so literally the next day at like 1 p.m., he was like, oh, I'm not interested. I was like, oh, thank Jesus. Me neither. And then so that was my Valentine's That's Day. so strange. Oh, and then this is dudes for you wrapped up. He's like, oh, we have nothing in common, but did you want to be friends? Yeah. So we can talk about the air? Seriously. Yeah, that's weird, too. Like, and then I'm like, being I don't know. Is it? Is that what it is? I said, no to, I said no to being friends, because I was like, I don't, this yeah. just, like, just this never works the way that people expect like, it to. No, like, no, I'm keeping the Tupperware. Like, I don't want to be your yeah, friend. Yeah, if I'm your friend, I'm going to have to return this shit. Right? <laughs> this glass Tupperware? <laughs> it's it's, it's I, like, the best part of the day. It literally was. It's like, I just gained $10 of Tupperware. <laughs> I got two pieces. There's Tupperware. At least 20 bucks. Yeah. If you knew it was going to end, you could have asked for dinner, too. You could have made a whole set. I know, right? <laughs> I literally, that should have been, that's my new plan. Like, some people gold dig for gold. I dig for Tupperware. <laughs> I am, yeah. I think we're getting close to the end of this podcast anyways. I feel like it's been a chunk of time. It's been 55 minutes. Oh, damn. It's, it's, yeah. it's not bad. But, yeah, I, I guess that's it. I think that's the whole thing of our podcast. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Um... If you want, sure and every wine night. if you want us to do wine. another one, oh wait, it's know. Wednesday. No, is it Wednesday? Wine Wednesday. I'm wine. the only well, one that drinks. <laughs> Angela's <laughs> Wine Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> at least the one I'm drinking now. Random conversations with Ange while she's drinking. Oh, well, I mean, I do it at home alone anyway. <laughs> well, some people have to work Talk. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's nice. I know it's really weird having weekend, but at least some of my friends have weekdays off. Mm-hmm. This so, guy. this guy right here. So, but you don't you work tomorrow, don't you? No, she was off. Yes, I work. Your schedule changed. Yep. Uh, yeah. Well, it's cool. been fun. Okay. Well, yeah. Let us know if you guys like this podcast and if we should do another one. Right, do another. Right one. now. Okay, second one. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode. Let's just record another one right now. <laughs> we got tons, While of, I'm here. tons of material. <laughs> All right. See you later, everybody.